G'day all. I've got a break in the weather today and I've got a couple of hours till the next storm comes. So I'm going to go down and do a painting, this view looking over Tallow Beach and over to uh, Baron Joey, which is uh, North Sydney area. So I've got all my gear here. I'm going to head down and uh, do a painting. So let's get down there. Wow, what a view. Beautiful. There you go. How does that look? I think I can uh, work something out here. Looks like a great view. You can see over to the right here, clouds are starting to build up. More over that way as well. So yeah, I'll get set up, I'll get stuck into this one. Okay, so what I'm going to paint is this beautiful scene down here from the mountains there. I'm going to put the, the rocks there and the beach, part of the beach in. And as you can look over this way, you've got over there is um, Baron Joey Head and um, Palm Beach over that way. So I'll be putting that in with the horizon and a nice, beautiful sky. Got everything set up over here. Got all my paints in place, titanium white, yellow ochre, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, burnt sienna, alizarin crimson, uh, emerald green and viridian. And there's my wash in place. Okay, so let's paint this one. So what I'm trying to create here with my wash, and I'm just at the blocking in stage, is I'm trying to create a lot of mood, because there's a lot of mood out there when you look at the sky. So I want to keep that in the painting, and I want to keep a real sense of atmosphere. So today is about atmosphere and mood. Okay, so when I look at the water and the colour that I see, I can see the colours I would use would be a, a viridian, an ultramarine blue, a little bit of yellow ochre, and a little bit of burnt sienna. I'll mix that in, see how that looks. Okay, I'm using my dirty brush, and you might think a lot of people don't like using dirty brushes, but I like using dirty brushes in that sense that it gives me a great um, colour mixture as I'm combining a little bit of the sky, a little bit of the mountains all into the sea colour as well. So I'm not really phased about that. So a bit of Viridian, a little bit of yellow ochre, a little bit of burnt sienna, go a little bit more Viridian, and some ultramarine blue. Mix that in. 
Look a bit more blue. It's getting nearer to the mark. What I'll do is, is I'll add a little bit of white. Okay, that looks okay. Okay, as you can see there, I'm not too far off the mark. So if I need to make it darker, I add a little bit more ultra and blue and a tiny bit of verini. And I can warm it up with burnt sienna. Or if I need to make it um, a bit lighter, I'll just add a bit of white. What I will do is make it a lot lighter on the horizon. But I'll just get the dark in and I can uh, do a lighter one over the top. Okay, what I'm going to do now is this, this mountain here, it's quite green. I'll get that in place. I'll be using Viridian Yellow Ochre. A little bit of uh, Elysian Crimson. A little bit of Ultraman Blue. Okay, so this is where I'm at. I've put the island in, which is uh, Lion Island, I think it's called. I'm gonna add a little bit of green to the distant um, mountain over there. It's uh, too mauve, so I'll work on a little bit of that. I'll work on this area here. Okay, so I've used the green that I've had Add a little bit more ultramarine blue and lizard crimson. I'm just going to darken these back mountains a little bit, but leave a little bit of the mauve colour shining through, which will give me that atmosphere. Because they they are mauvey, but you can see a lot of green in there too. So I'll get that in, and then I can soften it off. Okay, it's coming along now. What I'm going to do is get some whitewash in these places here and just out there a little bit. So I'll get that in. The key is not to overdo it with detail. As you can see, I did lighten the, the water a little bit. It was a little bit too dark, and plus we're probably one hour into the painting now. So it did change a little bit, but I was intending of making it a bit lighter myself. Always better to work dark at the start. You can lighten it up. Okay, I'm just putting some highlights in the trees because when you do look at it, it looks green, but you can see a beautiful uh, fresh leaves or new leaves on the top of the, the gum trees down there. So I'll get put a little bit of that in. 
just to break it up otherwise it just looks too dull and too green create a bit of depth in it Okay, I'm getting there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get that beautiful sky in. Hopefully I can capture the mood in the sky. So this is where I'm at. So we'll get the sky in now. Okay, I have done the painting. Done the painting. Tell me what you think in the comments. Good practice doing atmosphere. There's the painting there. Let me know what you think. How do you reckon you would have went with a uh, painting like this? It was quite a challenge. But anyway, you got to get better by just getting out there and having a go at things that you think maybe would be a bit hard so happy painting catch you in the next one see ya